Hey, it's Clarence, and uh, the last video that I made about Cats, the musical, people seemed to really enjoy it, so I figured I'd do another one, because they were saying such nice things, such nice and wonderful things, so thank you for that. I'm just so happy to be part of your artistic education, is what my, my whole thing is. Um, and I think people were really impressed by my insights into the different parts of the show that might confuse other people. So I'm glad I could help you uh, ex explore those and understand them a little bit better. So anyway, the, uh, the show that I want to talk about today, uh, it's called Phantom of the Opera. Uh, you know, it's another one of those shows that you probably haven't heard of, but it's still playing in New York. So if it sounds like something you want to see, then I say come on down and, and, and watch it, okay? Now, <clears throat> I have to admit that... Um, I I wasn't really paying attention in the first act. But here's why. There's a reason. You see, um, it opens up at an auction, and there's all this stuff from uh, an opera house that they're auctioning off, and the guy's like, oh, who's going to buy this thing? Oh, you did. Thank you. Here you go. And then next, and they rip the sheet off of a chandelier. Okay? Just wait, it gets better. And so they're talking about the chandelier, then all of a sudden the lights go out, and lights come from the chandelier, and they're just flashing all over the place, and then the chandelier flies up to the ceiling. And I was just like, oh my God, that's amazing. How'd they do that? How did they do that? Because I didn't see any wires or anything, you know. And so, uh, yeah, so for the rest of the first act, I was kind of watching the stage with one eye and watching the chandelier with another one, you know, just, you know, trying to figure out what it's going to do next. And um, it does something, but it's kind of a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear what happens to the chandelier, I would just uh, cover your ears for the next three seconds, okay? It flies back down to the stage. Uh... I had the shivers. So, uh, anyway, um, I'm going to piece together what I think the show's about, uh, and here it goes. Phantom of the Opera. It's Halloween, and there's this masked guy, guy wearing a mask, that um, really likes this this pretty young female singer and you know she's in the chorus and he's like well hey I can help you be the star of the opera and she's like well okay I, I don't know though because I'm kind of happy being in the chorus and he kidnaps her and he takes her down into the sewer and uh, the sewer has all these candles in it which I think is you know traditional in Europe uh, where the show takes place in Europe, and so he takes her to this place in the sewer that's got, like, this big pipe organ, and he's playing her songs that he wrote, you know, like he's a, <laughs> like a frat boy with a guitar at a party or something, and, uh, and then she's like, well, oh, here's, here's an important part, she's like, well, hey, you're wearing a mask, why, and she takes the mask and rips it off, and he's wearing another mask! He must really get in the spirit of Halloween because, you know, that's dedication. Two masks. And the other one looked like it was, like, stuck on. So, you know, he was probably sweating. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so she's like, okay, well, you can be my voice teacher or whatever. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to do things and scare everybody in the opera house till they perform my opera and you're going to be the star. And it happens and everyone loves her. She's she's a big hit and she's just saying, oh, you did such a good job. And and there's this guy, this young pretty guy, and, you know, the young pretty singer, uh, singer girl, she's like, hey, young pretty guy, and they, you know, just to kind of start, you know, like flirting, which the mascot does not like at all. Um, so, you know, she's singing, and that's, okay, clever your research, that's when the chandelier falls, and, uh, you know, so it falls, and, uh, and, and, and then it's uh, the end of Act One. And, you know, I was just, I was riveted by that chandelier. So, you know, it took me a minute to get rid of all the goosebumps on my body. And uh, then, you know, go out to the lobby and get some raisinettes. And then uh, Act 2 starts. And now everyone is in a mask. And so I guess it really is Halloween. Um, and then... Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay it on the line with you folks. I fell asleep, but it has nothing to do with the show. Here, I had a very long day, okay? I was walking all over the place. I stopped at Central Park, and there were some puppies that I just played with for like an hour, and then and then I went to the show, and, you know, I just didn't realize, 
uh, that I was so tired. And I'd figure, you know, even after those raisinettes, all that sugar would wake me up. It didn't. It didn't. So I fell asleep. But when I woke up, what was happening was they were all in the sewer and they were chasing after Mask Guy and they were about to, you know, kill him or something. And then Mask Guy's like, hey, pretty girl and pretty boy, why don't you just go and leave me here and save yourself? And they're like, but we want to help. No, just go and leave me. So they do. And so pretty boy and pretty girl go off together and Mask Guy dies, I think, is uh, what happens there. So, yeah, that's Phantom of the Opera. So, if that sounds like fun, and the music is so pretty. The music is so pretty, y'all. So, I, I would really say to you, go see it.